This is Johan Gamble, and I'm here with my brand new LP. We are I am LP in Let's Go Pikachu Nuzlocke Run. So, yep, I am doing my first Nuzlocke. I wanted to do one for a while, and I thought, well, why not do it with Let's Go? Because it's a it's a it's a fun little spin-off of the main Pokemon line, and I thought it'd be fun. And uh, of course, though, um, you have to change a couple of rules around just to make the Nuzlocke work. But uh, for anyone who doesn't know, a Nuzlocke is just a set uh, some rules that you put on yourself just to make the game a little more hard. Um, there's a couple, there's a lot of different rules that come into it, but the main rules are usually one Pokemon per route. If that Pokemon faints, it can no longer be used and is considered dead and must be put in the PC. Um, you have to nickname every Pokemon you catch. And, uh, um, and also sometimes no items during battle, which I am going to make a part of my, um, Nuzlocke. So those are kind of the main rules. So, um, there are going to be a couple of different rules, though, that I add to this, uh, Nuzlocke, just because Let's Go, po uh, Let's Go Pikachu is quite a bit different from the regular mainline, so it is going to require a couple of new rules to let it work properly. So anyways, we're just going to come up here immediately, because, uh, it's where Oak is. And I'll explain the rules when we actually start getting into it. When we actually get our first set of Pokeballs, which is actually very early in the game. You get them very quickly, actually, in fact. Uh-oh. Whoa! It's an electric rodent! It's a girl Pikachu, too. The Pikachu can change, which is kind of cool. You can have a boy Pikachu or a girl Pikachu. I don't know what the percentage is. I think it's even, though. So anyways, one of the main big differences in Let's Go Pikachu is obviously when you run into a wild Pokemon, you don't send out your own Pokemon to weaken it. You just throw a Pokeball, just like in Let's Go, uh, like in the Let's Go series. So that's one of the main differences. So that will affect how grind, how leveling up works in this game quite a bit, which I'll explain a little later. But so yeah, we have our first Pokemon. This little Pikachu. Wasn't that hard, Professor. Whoa. I think that Pikachu has had a lot of caffeine. It's doing its impression of a Voltorb very well. And it just used Rollout. Impressive. We gotta chase it. Yep, 
Yeah, well, there was only two, I, I believe you, Barry. But now there's three, and it's right there. Jeez. Do I have to take the Pikachu, though? What if there's other things here, like a... I don't know, something else. I guess I'll take Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu is very adorable. Yeah, I'll take the mascot, why not? It's kind of funny, because I remember in, you know, in the Pokemon anime, Pikachu did not shine the ash this quickly. It hated ash. Why are your ears black, actually? Why aren't they brown like your tail? I never actually really thought about that till just now. Okay, well, yep. Okay, well, one of the first rules of a Nuzlocke is you gotta name your Pokemon, so... We will name her, since she's a girl. We will name her... Lucy... Uh, come on. This is so slow. Lucy... Lucy Bolt. That's a good name for a little electric rodent. All right, cool. Okay, and Barry got an Eevee, which was the other Pokemon you could choose. Either let's go Pikachu or let's go Eevee. I like to think the last Pokeball there is a Clefairy. Since Clefairy was going to be the mascot of Pokemon, I believe, uh, early on, but Pikachu kind of exploded. I feel kind of bad for Clefairy. I mean, Clefairy's got a good design, but Pikachu's just become so iconic. I actually prefer, um... The only thing, though, I wish was that it was Fat Pikachu. Like, I remember in the earlier generation, Pikachu was a fat, tubby little thing. I actually prefer its fat look over its more slim look. Just because I find it funnier. Especially in Pokemon like Red and Blue, Raichu was incredibly fat. <laughs> All right, well, now we have Pokemon. And one of the cool things about this game, as you probably notice, is the Pokemon follows you. And in fact, there are some Pokemon that you can ride. Some that are in the air and some that are on ground. So it's pretty sweet. Yep, I caught it. Yep, she has a lot of energy. Thankfully, our mom, I guess, threw the town map at us because we're a little too far to hand it to us. All right, well, we got a map and we can get going. So, like I said, one of the changes in this game, this game works a lot differently than the mainline because one of the biggest changes is Pokemon don't randomly, you don't randomly encounter Pokemon in the grass like you would normally do. Instead, you find Pokemon just wandering about and you can see them. So this is how it's gonna work. The first Pokemon we see um, in the grass, I will chase. Um, if it disappears before I get it, then I will chase the next Pokemon that is closest to me. Um, but if another Pokemon runs into me, then I will just try and catch that Pokemon. And if the Pokemon runs away from me um, when I'm in, when I'm fighting it, then I can no longer catch a Pokemon on that route. It's dead. So that's one of the big main changes. So we're going to inch closely to see what we're going to get. So what's going to pop up first? Whatever. Oh, Pidgey. Okay, that's our first team member. So that will be our first team member. This Pidgey. If we can catch her. Okay, it's a girl, and it's only level 3. Great, got it, good. So that's one of the big changes. So that's how we're going to deal with random wild Pokemon. Um, another rule is we're not we're going to have duplication claws. So because I caught a Pidgey here, I can't catch a Pidgey anywhere else. Or it's evolution lines. So no more flying little, no more Pidgeys or Pidgeotos or Pidgeots. And I will name... One of the other fun things is, too, is that you can name your Pokemon wherever you are. So that's a pretty cool feature. Um, let's change your name. We will name her... Pudgy. We'll name her Pudgy... Pudgy Girl. And let's take a look at her stats. What's she looking like? Okay, she's serious, so that means she's not going to have any downsides. So she won't have anything she's good at, but not anything she suffers with either. That's not bad. That's fine. Um, 
Okay, cool. So we can't catch any other Pokemon. Um, so one of the big things, too, is you probably noticed that Pikachu gained experience from us catching that Pidgey. So we will not catch any more random Pokemon. So we will not catch Pokemon. So we won't be able to train at all um, from catching Pokemon, except for when we catch Pokemon once per route. So our main way of leveling up is just from trainers and the occasional catching of Pokemon that we get to once every route. Um, yeah, so that's how that's going to work. And then what else is there? Uh, I already said no items in battle. Um, once per route. Sorry, I have my little list here. I'm just trying to make sure I go. Uh, no gift trader event Pokemon. So Pokemon's like Snorlax, um, uh, trading Pokemon, or uh, the legendary birds that we run across. We can't catch those. We'll have to kill them. And... Um, Another big thing is actually, um, we can actually access... Oh, let's see what we're going to get. Come on, let me be something good. I think you can find Mankeys here, so that'd be awesome. Um, one thing is, though, we have to make sure is that we can actually access the... P oh, it's a Rattata. Okay. We can actually access the PC um, wherever we want to. Um, and I'm going to put a rule that we can only access it when we are at a Pokemon Center. So that way, if we're like... You know, let's say we're really balls deep into a dungeon and all of our Pokemon are about to faint. That way we can't switch out um, our Pokemon are about to faint and bring in Pokemon that have, you know, full health. So we can't do that. So we're not allowed to do that either. And Lucy Bolt learned Quick Attack. Cool. So we're not going to do that. Because otherwise it'd be way too easy to just, you know, kind of break the system like that. And I think... Oh, another one is no candies. When you trade in Pokemon, you can actually get in um, candies. And you can give them to your Pokemon, and it gives them a lot of Eevees. So it really increases their stats. So we will not be getting any candies. The only candies we can eat are um, rare candies. But those are different. And I think that's about it. There is one more rule, though. The other rule is that... Sometimes in the game you'll have to catch like a certain type of Pokemon or a certain number of Pokemon to progress. And what I will do is I will put all of my main um, my main team into the PC and go ahead and catch whatever I need. Um, so that they don't get experience, but I can still progress through the game. And then once we are done, then we will release them. So yeah, that's how that's going to work. Because uh, the first gym leader will actually require us to have a grass type. They won't let us fight unless we have a grass type. So uh, once we show that we do, then we will release that Pokemon. And what did we get? Oh, pretty wing. Cool. And yeah, so that's how that's going to work. And I think that's all the rules. I think that's everything. So yeah. That's the only real difference is just the, you know, catching a Pokemon for the Nuzlocke. So, you know, because, yeah. So that, like I said, though, that means there won't be really any level grinding. The only levels we get are from the once per route catch and the um, regular trainers. So that will make this a little difficult, but it should be manageable. Because I don't, I don't remember this game being actually that hard, um, playing it normally. I remember never really having to grind or anything. And Pikachu stays on her shoulders, but it's got 30 paws, so what the hell. Yeah, I got your medication. Yep. You can get your Eevee to ride on you too if you want. Oh, and one more rule, uh, we won't be using berries in battle. So that just makes it easier to catch Pokemon. We won't be using those. Yep, okay, we'll catch lots of Pokemon. Alright, see ya. We can have Pokemon battles too. It's battle time, okay. One thing too that's really different is um, all Pokemon actually gain experience without even fighting. So that's why I'm trying to just make sure we get experience from trainers because there's not a whole lot of risk um, outside of battle because normally sometimes the risk is, you know, trying to level grind, but um, we don't have that risk because fighting Pokemon in the wild doesn't 
put our Pokemon at any sort of risk. So, yeah. This fight's pretty easy. It's not that hard. Pikachu can take care of it really easily. And that's what she'll do. But I'm actually not going to use Pikachu after this battle. I just want to use Pikachu right now because this fight is really, really difficult without Pikachu. Obviously because I can't grind any levels. There's no trainers to fight. And my other two Pokemon are only, you know, level threes. So there's kind of... It'd be... It's not impossible. I did have to re-record this, actually, because I messed up. But I was actually able to beat his EV with a Rattata, because all he did was growl. But I wanted to give myself a little bit of a break right there, and I just let Pikachu fight. But Pikachu will be going in the PC. But we gotta first get to a Pokemon Center. Actually, first thing I want to do, too, is actually switch. Um, we'll put... Radigan first, and we will let... Whoops. And we will let... Pudgy Girl follow us. So now we can have Pudgy Girl. The one nice thing is, though, if we put Pikachu in the PC, she'll still be on our shoulder. She just won't be used in battle. I think this is Barry's sister. And we got Sportswear. Yep, from Barry's sister. We can actually change our clothes, which is really fun. And we can put clothes on Pikachu. Pikachu. Yep, and it has its own little thingy where you can pet your Pikachu and feed it berries and that kind of thing. So here, we'll feed... Since we're never going to use the berries um, on Pokemon, we might as well just get a really fat Pikachu. Maybe this will turn into an Alolan Pikachu. These are like pancakes, right? Here, eat. Eat the food. Good job. Alright, let's leave. I know. Sometimes, you know, if you, um... Sometimes after certain events, if you go see what Pikachu is doing, she has, like, she has, like, different, um, expressions about what's happening, so it's kind of fun. Okay, just talking about the ledges. Yep, I know. Now, hopefully we can get some... Some, um... Other Pokemon types, because right now we have two normal types. So, yeah, we have two normal types... So, like, I would like, like, maybe an Oddish, because Oddish is actually fairly good. Especially this early on, because our first gym leader is Brock. But we might find an Oddish in Viridian Forest, or probably a Bug. Really, if we got a Caterpie, that'd be good, too, because Butterfreeze aren't too bad. Beedrills aren't really great. They're cool, but there's no Mega Evolutions, except for a couple of Pokemon in this game. The only Pokemon that get Mega Evolutions in this game are, like, um... Venusaur, Blastoise, and Charizard, but that's only like end game special stuff. And I think I might have to switch out Rat again here. Yeah, he's not doing too great. Yeah, since I can't use items, it makes the fight a lot harder. Hopefully, Pudgy Girl doesn't die though. I really like Pidgeys a lot. Look at it, it's, she's so cute. Okay, she wasted it. Well, actually, Tail Whip is actually dangerous. Any move that lowers your abilities is actually pretty dangerous in a Nuzlocke, so... Oh gosh, two? Yeah, that's not good. And he's faster, too. Oh boy. Pidgey's definitely in a good chance of dying next turn. Okay, don't die, Pudgy girl. Do not die. Okay, good. She'll be fine. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that there are no abilities in this game. So, normally Pudgy girl would have, like, um, keen eye that would prevent any status um, lowering abilities, but in this game there's no ability, so you can use Sand Attack on her and she'll, you know, it's a little bit of a bummer there's no um, abilities, because abilities are really fun in the game, but they got rid of them, at least for this one, which is a bit of a bummer. But that's what it is. Oh, there's Barry again. Yep, I beat another trainer. Yeah, Pokemon Centers will be our godsend. Yep, we're going to go there right now because we're going to drop Pikachu off. Even though we can drop Pikachu off right now, just for the being consistent and staying with the rules, PCs will only be allowed to be accessed during the, um, in the center. So we will remove from party. And 
We are going to... Actually, we'll keep Pikachu in the front just because it's a special Pokemon. Um, and let's heal real quick. And... Yeah. I wish they had boxes in this game so I could put Pokemon in, like, you know, title of dead. Because I don't like to release them. I like to just put them in boxes. Okay. Thank you. Let's get going. Now, Pudgy Girl leveled up. So let's go ahead and... Let's, um... Okay, he's already out first. I want, uh, Radigan to be outside because he's really... I like the way he... The, it's great. His running. Um... Actually, if we come over here, I don't think we grabbed... There's a secret potion over here. I don't think we grabbed it. I think they did a pretty good job with a lot of the Pokemon's, uh, outside animations and stuff. Okay, good. Got a potion. Good. Yeah, it's, it's really useful to be able to use items outside of battle. Of course, using them in battle is way more useful, but, you know, we're not going to do that. Looks like Team Rocket's finally gone. And there's nothing interesting over there. Right. New route. This is route two. Yeah, you can have two players, but we're not doing that. What will be our second Pokemon? I mean, our third Pokemon. Weedle? Okay. I saw Weedle first, so that's what we're catching. I remember I tried, um... Um, for my own pastime, I was up uh, playing um, Pokemon Soul Silver, and I was doing a Weedle only run, and I actually got all the way to Jasmine, but I could not beat him. I I had like a seven, like a level seventy something Weedle, and it only knew um, you know Poison Sting, Bug Bite, and String Shot, but I could not beat Jasmine. It was terrible, and I named the the Weedle Harry Ball, so because it's just it's known as a Harry Bug, so. I'll name Weedle Harry. Bo I'll name Weedle Harry Ball. I actually like Weedles. Um, let's take you out of the Pokeball, and let's also change your name. Whoops, I wasn't. Let's see. Harry. Whoops. Actually, I'm just gonna name you Hairball. Hairball. Damn it. Hairball. There we go. And what's you looking like, Hairball? Let's see what kind of stats you got. Relax, so you're going to have more defense. And less special defense. Okay. Alright. We'll put you up in the front, but you're probably not going to be super useful right now. Um, let me just make sure one thing real quick. Let me double check and make sure these are all Pokemon on different routes, right? This is... Okay, that's Route 2, that's Route 1, that's Route 22. Oh, that route, it says Modest Nature? Oh, I d Radigan is not supposed to be modest. That's the last thing I think about when I think of Radigan. Modest nature, though. That means its special attack is going to be better than its physical. That's not good at all. All right. How you doing, Harry Ball? You're adorable. Yeah, well, let's call him. Very cute. Hopefully, we catch a grass-type Pokemon. If we don't, this is going to be really hard. Uh, but you know what, I'm actually going to end the video here, and we're going to go ahead and continue through Verdian Forest in the next part. So this has been Aaron Gamble. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, bye then.